Thank you, Steve and Andy Lane and all my friends. I took a look at uh, some of the previous recipients of this award and discovered that I was in some very distinguished company, people like Bob Mars, Rob Link, and Monty Goldfein are already in this club, and I'm really delighted to join them. What's special about this award is that it arrives like a bolt out of the blue. It's not like a diploma or a license or becoming an Eagle Scout or something you apply for. It is a surprise and one that I still haven't quite gotten over. I'd like to just tell you a few of the principles that I have tried to observe in life and in my business. And I'll, I'll, I want to make sure that I get the right one first. And the, the first principle of, that I attribute my success to is being discriminating and lucky enough 61 years ago to choose Donna as my wife. And she's managed our home and for 22 of those 61 years managed our office and her support and encouragement have been invaluable in any success that I have achieved. If you're a young entrepreneur wondering if you might stand here someday uh, and you're taking notes, here are a couple of principles that I believe in. In my business, I kept my promises. In my business, I tried to build and maintain integrity. In my business, I learned to learn from my mistakes. I also learned to work only for clients that I like. <laughs> and another one that's extremely important, hire great people. There's one more I want to tell you about, the final principle starts with a story when our daughter was about in the six, in, in six years old or seven years old at the Park Point School, her teacher inquired, what do your parents do? She said, well, my mom stays home and takes care of us kids, and my dad goes to meetings. <laughs> now, Translating, my dad goes to meetings, means contributing co community service. And contributing service to the community is an, a principle of success in business in our community, I believe. I, I think, I think, it is obviously difficult in many vocations to do this, but I reckoned one day that I devoted about 20% of my time 
to service to the community outside my business. In your vocation, you may not be able to do that. But it's a goal to aspire to when you can. So, if I were to dwell on all of the other principles that have led to achievement in my life, it would take too much of your afternoon, and I don't intend to do that. But I do want to thank you all for your attention and for your recognition and, and for being here for the love of your community and for the same reason I am. Thank you so much.